What's up, Vikings fans? Welcome back to another edition of Viking Spin. I'm your host, Jason, and uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday today. Um, unfortunately, our Vikings are not playing in the Super Bowl. But what am I doing? Uh, instead of uh, prepping for the Super Bowl game, I am taking a look at the wide receivers that are going to be available in the upcoming NFL Draft. Uh, because the first step in getting to the Super Bowl is winning the offseason. And uh, the Rams, they definitely did that. Uh, that's why they're representing the NFC today. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna look at uh, one component of winning the offseason, and that's winning the draft. So we're, we're going to take a look at wide receivers um, today, and, and this would be... That, you know, the receivers that I'm going to review today, they're going to be eight of them, and they're going to be anywhere from uh, a draft projection for anywhere from rounds one through rounds four, uh, because I think the Vikings are serious about addressing the wide receiver three spot. They've got to take a receiver within those rounds uh, that would be able to contribute right away, and this is, of course, if they do not address the need in free agency or via trade. So... Um, you know, obviously, in those situations, you probably wouldn't take another wide receiver in the draft um, unless it was, you know, in the lower rounds. So, um, we're going to take a look uh, at a couple. The first two are going to be first round projections. Uh, if the Vikings were to go with a wide receiver in the first round, uh, we do have the first one coming up here is Marquise Hollywood Brown out of Oklahoma. Uh, he is the brother of Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown, who's a perennial uh, pro bowler and all pro. Uh, Brown is 5'10", 170 pounds, um, and he runs, bla he's got blazing speed. Um, this guy is a deep threat, uh, but he's more than just a deep threat. He's, he's really refined and polished in his route running, uh, so he is definitely one of the best wide receiver prospects in this draft that would be ready to play on day one. Um, I really like him. I'm not sure if the Vikings would go that high in the draft for a wide receiver, but they might. Uh, you never know They don't if they feel that, that he is the best player available. Uh, another player that could be the best player available on the board when the Vikings pick is Nikhil Harry. Uh, Harry is six foot three, two hundred and sixteen pounds. Um, so this is, you know, you're looking at uh, a size receiver here, um, you know, as opposed to just a straight up, uh, you know, smaller uh, deep threat. Nikhil Harry is out of Arizona State, and. Um, in addition to his size, he has good speed. Um, you know, whereas I think Marquise Brown is probably going to run in the four threes. Um, Harry, he's expected to run probably, um, you know, a four five, which isn't bad for a six three, two hundred and sixteen pound receiver. Uh, so that's still pretty good speed. Um, and what Harry's able to do is he's able to go up there and win contested catches. He's a very physical receiver. Um, you know, someone you can you can trust on third downs. Uh, he's an outside receiver for sure. Uh, so if the Vikings were to take him, I'm sure that they would uh, use uh, Thielen and Diggs. Um, either one could go into the slot with the other one on the outside with Harry. Uh, the... The next receiver that we're looking at here is going to be a second round projection, and that's Debo Samuel out of South Carolina. Uh, Samuel is 5'11", 215 pounds. Um, he's supposed to be one of the better route runners in the draft. Um, I've seen his film. He gets good separation. That's very important to have to be a solid route runner. Uh, you know, that's what makes Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen so good. Uh, is a route running ability. Uh, Debo Samuel is similar in that respect. Uh, I think he'd be really a, a very similar player to to the way Diggs and Thielen's games are uh, are modeled. 
And uh, Debo's got some pretty good speed too. He'll probably run in the four fours, which is pretty solid. Um, so you've got him there out of South Carolina, second round projection. Um, also, another second round projection is J.J. Arcega Whiteside out of Stanford. 6'2", 222 pounds. Uh, probably run between, he's expected to run between 4.4s four and maybe 4.5. Uh, so he's got really good speed for a big receiver. Um, outstanding body control and leaping ability. Uh, this guy makes a lot of acrobatic catches. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that's another... Uh, big bodied receiver type for the Vikings there. Uh, the next one we'd be looking at is uh, another big body. Uh, this one would be the biggest in Hakeem Butler out of, uh, out of uh, Iowa State. Six foot six, 205 pounds. So it's pretty fair to say you want to throw it up high, he'll go get it. Um, Butler is definitely a massive target. Uh, somebody you can definitely use in the red zone. Uh, he's got pretty good speed too, um, you know. So this is a, again we're looking at uh, types of receivers here. We're, we're basically looking at, at the big bodies and and the uh, the smaller speed guys as well. Uh, speaking of smaller speed guys, our next prospect here would be Andy Isabella out of UMass. <clears throat> now Isabella is five foot nine, one hundred and eighty six pounds. Uh, does a lot of work in the slot, um, but I'm sure you could also uh, put him outside if you wanted to. He's got tremendous speed. He's probably the fastest receiver in this draft. He's expected to run in the four twos. Um, so this is like John Ross territory from a couple years ago when he, when he had the four two two combine. Um, so Isabella would be a very interesting prospect, somebody that could really stretch the field for the Vikings, um, and somebody that defenses would really have to respect that incredible speed. Uh, he's got pretty pretty solid hands too, just got to be more consistent um, with his route running, so um, that's something to consider there. Um, Isabella's got between probably a, a second to third round grade on him. Uh, and then getting more into the third round, probably a, uh, <clears throat> between third to fourth round grade is um, little Jordan Humphrey out of Texas, six foot four, 225 pounds. Um, this guy comes from the same school as Cordero Patterson uh, came out of. So, um, and he's actually kind of a similar player in, in the way that they use them. Um, over at Texas, they, you know, they do a lot of jet sweeps with him. Uh, that's something that, uh, you know, that Cordero did or, or does still. Um, and you know, he's kind of a kind of a gadget kind of receiver. They used Humphrey in the slot quite a bit. It's kind of a big slot. Um, <clears throat> you know, he has the look of a tight end, uh, but he's got he's got some really good speed to him. Um, for a big receiver, so uh, that's an, another interesting prospect to look at. Um, into the fourth round now, where uh, a guy I like is uh, Antoine Wesley out of Texas Tech, uh, six foot five, two hundred pounds. Um, this guy might run in the four fours, which would be extremely impressive for a guy at six foot five. Um, but he's 6'5", 200 pounds, so he's probably a little lanky and may have to uh, add a little bit of weight to take, uh, to take the punishment. But he's, he's surprisingly, uh, you know, good route runner and good hands. Um, but, you know, like all these guys, he's going to need some refinement. Um, he might need a little bit more refinement than some of the other guys. That's why he's down in the fourth round projection. Uh, but still, uh, still a guy I think that if they took him, that he could he could probably contribute uh, fairly early on. So, those are the uh, prospects there for the Vikings that uh, that we've analyzed here from rounds one through four. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Vikings Spin. Uh, don't forget to uh, give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I encourage others to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be bringing you more content 
throughout this off season. And uh, the next position group uh, that we're going to do in this draft is going to be tight ends. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Take care.